Hello and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. This video covers the main aspects of VAT filer as well as instructions on how to update the business's record in TaxCalc to show that the business is enrolled for MTD for VAT. As you're probably already aware, VAT filer can be accessed via the launcher, the dashboard or using Practice Manager. However, the MTD service in VAT filer can't be accessed until you have told TaxCalc that the business in question has been signed up to MTD for VAT. This is updated using the Business Info screen, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the Client in Practice Manager and selecting Business from the left-hand menu. Towards the lower half of this screen is a tick box for Enrolled for MTD for VAT. This box needs to be ticked to tell TaxCalc that the business should be submitting VAT returns using the MTD service. Once the MTD for VAT box has been ticked, the next time VAT filer is opened for the business, instead of creating a VAT period, you'll need to fetch the period from HMRC. This is one of the changes that MTD for VAT brings, and it's not now possible to add your own VAT periods to TaxCalc or any other software. They have to be retrieved from HMRC's system. To create a VAT return, click on the Fetch VAT Periods button. Anything involving MTD requires you to authorise TaxCalc to work with HMRC's systems. You should only need to authorise TaxCalc every 18 months, or if new functionality becomes available that you want to use. If you need to authorise TaxCalc, you'll see a window asking you to do so for MTD for VAT. Click on the Authorise button to continue. The next screen takes you through HMRC's authorization process. Click Continue. You'll need to log in using your Agent Services account credentials. Without an Agent Services account, it's not possible to use the MTD for VAT service or sign up businesses to MTD. Once logged in, you just need to confirm that you're granting your copy of TaxCalc permission to view and submit VAT returns when you ask it to. Click on Grant Authority to confirm, and that's TaxCalc authorised. Now click on the Fetch button to keep going. TaxCalc will automatically default to Open VAT Periods, which will ensure that the next VAT return period that needs to be submitted will be retrieved. Click on Fetch, and the VAT return will be created, ready for you to complete. Click Open once you've selected the correct VAT period, and you can start completing the VAT return for the business. Under MTD, data can't be entered manually by typing in boxes. It needs to be imported or digitally linked. To do this, go to the Source VAT data menu and click on the Import Source Data button to display the import data screen. The first thing you'll be asked to do is select the spreadsheet file where your VAT data is located. Click on the Browse button to show your computer's files. Once you've found the file, highlight and click Open to make your choice. You'll then need to create an import map, so the mappings can be saved. The first time you import from a spreadsheet, a name and description for the import map will be automatically entered, but you can enter a name of your choosing and a description if you wish. Click Continue to move on to the mapping screen. Mappings can be created in two ways. By clicking on the box number and choosing the cell that contains the VAT data, or by clicking the right hand button over the cell you need and selecting the correct box of the VAT return. Once you've made your selections, click Continue to view a summary of the data to be imported. At this point, you can choose whether to save a copy of the imported spreadsheet against your VAT return. This is especially handy if you want to revisit the spreadsheet at any time. Click Finish and you'll be taken back to the Source VAT data screen, where your imported source data can be viewed. If you need to make any adjustments to the source data, go to the Adjustments menu, found under the VAT Return menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on Add, and the list of adjustments you can make will appear. This list is not exhaustive, so if a specific adjustment that you want to make is not listed, you can use the type Other, which allows you to create your own specific adjustment. Click Add Record to create a record, and then add your own description, the type of adjustment, and which boxes should be adjusted. The record will be automatically saved. You can amend any subsequent detail by selecting the relevant box. To create another adjustment, click on the Create Another button at the bottom of the screen. 
the list of possible adjustments will again be displayed. Click Add Record and enter the required details. Each type of adjustment you add will create a page within the left hand adjustments menu. For easy reference, you'll see a summary of all the adjustments entered displayed on the main adjustments menu screen. Once you've added all of your adjustments, select the adjusted VAT data option. This will allow you to review your original source data, the adjustments you've added, and the adjusted VAT figures that will make up your VAT return. Once the VAT return has been processed and you're happy the information is complete, it can be sent directly to HMRC using the MTD service. Select Check and Finish from the left-hand menu and File to HMRC. Assuming that authorization for TaxCalc to interact with HMRC is still in place, a summary of the information to be submitted to HMRC will be displayed. You'll need to tick the box on screen to confirm that this data is accurate to the best of your knowledge and then click Continue. Click File Online to send the return. A response will be returned from HMRC and a history of the online filing for this VAT return recorded for your reference. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.